Hello all, this is the second part for an awfully big adventure achievement video series. This video will show the pet battles in Mist of Pandaria, not including the Celestial Tournament. As a reminder, the Alec plushie needs to be on the team for every one of the listed battles. As a heads up, I'm probably going to mispronounce some of the names within uh, World of Warcraft, so uh, hopefully no one gets offended by it, but it's definitely going to happen now and then. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. The first pet battle I chose is Whispering Pandaren Spirit in the Jade Forest. The first pet, Dusty, is one of those annoying moth pets that make the fight take forever. Once again, Sandstorm blocks a lot of the damage, the little repeated attacks, and damage debuffs. Pandaren Air Spirit heals during this fight, but there's enough damage for Anubisath and Kuline Runt to compensate. Continuing on in the Jade Force is Hyuna of the Shrines. This is a pretty straightforward fight. I switch in Elec Plushy whenever Fangor burrows. Door the wall heals, but between that and casting its armor ability, Kunline Runt has enough time to freeze it and take out its health. Morok in Krasarang Wild was a bit of a struggle. He uses a beast pet and a moth, so I switched out Anubisath's Crush for Demolish. But Demolish only has a 50% hit chance, making this fight very RNG. Needleback does a lot of damage for his first two attacks, so I deflect one of them to try to help Anubisath last a little longer and get a Sandstorm attack off.
I moved up to the Valley of the Four Winds for Farmer Nishi. Siren is going to cast Sunny Day and a healing spell, so I cast Sun Sandstorm to remove Sunny Day and the extra health bonus. Toothbreaker has a spell to split himself up and does no damage in this form. I really don't understand this ability. I think Molten Corgi and possibly Rag does it too. The next battle is with Aki, the Chosen, and Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Anubisath blocks Chirrup's Stampede or Flock ability with Sandstorm. Stormlash casts a Lightning Storm that overtakes Sandstorm, but it's not too worrying as he'll only have one attack as opposed to multiple in one turn. I can use this to my advantage with Anubisath's bonus damage using Crush. As soon as Stormlash is down, I can go ahead and cast Sandstorm again, plus it has bonus damage against Whiskers. Thundering Pandaren Spirit is next in Kunlai Summit. This fight is quite tricky because Pandaren Earth Spirit does a stun and hits pretty hard. I start with Elec Plushie because the Pandaren Earth Spirit's opening move is going to be a stun and he's faster than my pets. This way he stuns the Elec Plushie and hits it with its higher damage ability. Then I go about using my Kunlai Runt with his freezing combo. When Pandaren Earth Spirit comes back in and gets a stun off on the Kunlain Runt, I swap in the Elec Plushie again to take the hit, then bring Kunlain Runt in when I'm able. And because Frostshock decreases the opponent's speed, he's able to finish off Sludgy and bring Pandaren Earth Spirit very low before they're able to take him out. I had to swap in Specimen 97 for the Anubisath Idol because he just couldn't get through Darnak the Tunneler. He has two abilities that help him avoid damage, Dust Cloud and Burrow. 
Darnak will always open up with a shield buff and then burrow. Because Specimen 97 is faster, he's able to get off two attacks before Darnak burrows. Then he'll cast Dust Cloud and Burrow to try to avoid that damage. Darnak is able to hit him once for 1k, which is really all he can stand. Courageous Yawn is also in Kunlain Summit in a cave high up in the mountain. This is a pretty standard fight that's basically a repeat of previous fights. Bleat is a beast pet which makes the fight take longer along with his healing ability. Anubisath Idol is able to, to defeat all of the pets. Number 26 on my list is Seeker Zushi in Town Long Steps. There is nothing really special to mention about this fight other than Mollus healing himself. Because Mollus was almost dead when Kunlai Runt came in, I saved Deep Freeze to be used on Skimmer as soon as he joined.
Also in Town Long Steps is Burning Pander and Spirit, another straightforward, easy fight. Anubisath can do almost the entire thing by himself. Next is Waste Walker Shoe in Dread Wastes. Crusher can heal, which makes the ma which makes the match take longer, but it's not significant enough to worry about. Mutilator is a beast pet, and that makes the fight take even longer. If it wasn't for Deep Freeze, this match would have been a loss. The last match in MOP, not including the Celestial Tournament, is also in Dread Waste with a flowing pander and spirit. It's almost a repeat of the previous match. There's some healing, some group damage, Anubisath misses a bunch. I managed to block both the pander and water spirit's high damage ground ability, which was lucky timing. Sometimes they don't sync up with each other. That is going to wrap up this part of the video series for an awfully big adventure. The next video will be Mist of Pandaria, Celestial Tournament, and Warlords of Draenor. Hope this video was helpful. Good luck and have fun!